Hi, I'm Mayor David Black, and welcome to City Happenings. An established park was renamed for our military veterans. We'll take you to the ceremony. Winter Wonderland is coming up. We'll hear more from the Community Foundation's director. And our annual fall cleanup is very popular. You'll hear from a couple of our residents. All of these stories are next in City Happenings for the week of November 18th. Thanks, Mayor Black. Triangle Park will from now on be known as Veterans Park. We've got the Memorial Garden and the Blue Star Memorial will be the focus. And today's about celebrating a renaming. It's about dedicating a park and it's about presenting a vision. So it's also about honoring our vets and saying thank you. I hope it's a place of reflection for those of you that serve. I also hope it's a place of, of peace, not only for those of you that serve, but the entire community to realize when they come to this park, uh, what it actually means. I'll cr credit Jason Gaines, uh, my fellow council person from Ward 2, uh, when I went and first broached the idea to him, as a former Marine, he was very much in, in favor of it. Uh, without his help and his guidance, uh, we wouldn't be here today as well. We have big, big thank yous to the city. Our garden club just needs to thank the city for all they have done for us. And we were very excited when we found out that a couple of councilmen wanted to have this park renamed in honor of our veterans. I'd like to commend you for your patriotism and sharing with our military members, past, present, and future. You've lent a warm hand of compassion and you are very strong supporting our military members. And I appreciate that as a member of the military serving in this area. I salute you for all of your programs and your support and compassion to us in this area. I'll also like to recall and remember those of uh, men and women who cannot be here today, who've gone before us and uh, gave their life for the country. I'd also like to remember those military members who are deployed and cannot be with their families. We are a long line of a band of brothers and sisters, soldiers, sailors, airmen, Marines. In this line, there are many memories and emotions. We have adventure, excitement, sometimes boredom. Combat, fatigue, sometimes fear. We had separations, also loneliness. And then regretfully, sometimes we had a friend or a buddy who did not come home. Now we're here, we take these memories and emotions and bring them to this small piece of ground in Papillion. It's been transfigured from a triangle to something far more symbolic. It's a field of honor for the veterans whose valor brought us victory to the United States of America. Winter Wonderland is on its way. It's my favorite event that we do, I think, because it's completely free to the community. There's no commercial aspect to it, um, with the exception of the chili. But that all goes to all the proceeds from that go to charity, so that's a good thing. It's just, it's it's fun. It brings people out. There's activities for kids. Um, it's just such a special crazy. event, and it's really come a long way. We've been able to add special things every year that make it different, that make it fun, but yet keeps yeah. keeps those same core activities. So, you know, that's really what all of our events thrive on, is the core activities that people love and enjoy, but then adding some new tweaks every year. So we're excited to bring princesses back this year, and we're hoping to draw some people downtown to the downtown merchants as well. Santa will arrive in the Santa Parade at 5 o'clock at the Portal School and be met by the toy soldiers. And then at 6 o'clock, uh, the mayor will, light, will turn on the lights. He'll do that with help, though, from our coloring contest winner. Last year we started a coloring contest, and we're going to be doing it again this year. So the lucky coloring contest winners will be able to flip the big switch with Mayor Black and turn the lights on at 6 o'clock. And that really is the pivotal moment, you know, the, the start of the holiday season. And 
There's going to be um, a fabulous display of lights down in the new First Street Plaza, so people will have to be sure to check that out as well. The city's fall cleanup is well liked by residents who plan ahead for this event. This is great. I mean, every spring, every fall, it's worth taking the day off of work, coming out here, getting things cleaned up. It saves all sorts of hassle of having to either put it in the trash at home or run it down to Springfield to the dump. Um, very, very convenient. We actually hold stuff back in the, in the garage and say, okay, I'm going to take this in the fall. You tell the wife, she bothers you to get rid of it, but then you're like, it's only a month away. Just give me a month and we'll get her taken down to dump days. I love it. It's a lot helpful. Like, we got a lot of furniture that needs to get going and I just got nowhere to take it. So we pile everything up and when spring and fall cleanup comes around, toss it out. You can't go anywhere and dump your trash for free. <laughs> We want to remind you of the upcoming Holiday Luncheon. It's set for Saturday, December 7th at the Trinity Life Center on West Lincoln Street. Get your tickets now from the Papillion Community Foundation or to Joma's Boutique on East 1st Street. There are lots of ways to stay up to date with what's happening in Papillion. You can find us on Facebook, follow the City of Papillion on Twitter, or even watch our YouTube channel. There's also the City app. It's available from the Apple App Store and the Android Marketplace. And information about all of our departments and programs is available on our website. For more about Papillion, go to www.papillion.org or just call the Mayor's Hotline at 402-827-1111. Thanks for watching.